welcome back to Questioning Sense with me, Matt. Okay, well, as you um, regular viewers have noticed that I have tried a couple from Italian d'Orange. Um, I hope that's the correct pronunciation. One of the subscribers actually sent me a lovely audio message um, correcting me and uh, helping me a little bit with my French pronunciation. So I hope that was right. So I did a review of Rian Intense Incense and I appreciate it. it wasn't really for me. And then another one of our subscribers very kindly sent me a load of Eldo um, samples to try, um, including Secretions Magnifique, which um, there's a video of that as well. And uh, less said about that one, the better. But in the samples, there were a few that I got to try and one that I really, really liked, and that was Tom of Finland. In fact, so much so, I opened the, the sample, sprayed it, and within an hour, I've been online and uh, ordered a bottle. And the bottle's arrived, well, it arrived a few days ago, and I've been giving it a bit of a wear. So um, what we'll do is we'll just talk a little bit about um, Tom of Finland. We'll go through the notes, uh, my experience of wearing it. And for a change, we're actually going to have a look at the box, which is something I never really do, but this is quite interesting. In fact, another one of our subscribers, another friend of mine, um, so he found out that I was buying a bottle and said, uh, when you get the bottle, have a look in the box. Uh, I didn't quite know what to expect, but we'll, 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 come, we'll come to that. So Tom of Finland was released in 2007, and it is um, an homage to the legendary Tom of Finland, who, to be honest with you, before I did this review, I or researched this review, should I say, I didn't know too much about. But, um, oh, by the way, if you think my French pronunciation is bad, wait till you hear my Finnish. So, Tom of Finland's real name is Tuco Valio Larksonen, and he lived between 1920 and sadly passed in 1991. And he was, or has been described as one of the most influential creators of gay pornographic imagery. So, um, that leads. That leads us on to the box, which, uh, well, let's have a look at the bottle first. The bottle, I mean, I've got a 50 mil. Um, I'm getting quite into sort of buying smaller bottles now. 30s and 50s seem to be perfect for me. Bottle's a stunner. Beautiful 50 mil bottle there. Look at the uh, the lid on it. It's, it's glorious. Um, really solid, really well made. Great, great presentation. Now, the box itself um comes like this there's the box there's a a chap on it there and uh more of him in a minute and then inside the box we have a little thing to keep it safe and then there is some some artwork on there now i'm not going to open up the box and hold the artwork up to the camera because youtube would probably close us down now I'll give you a, a brief description of what's going on in here. There are a few chaps in here that obviously work out. They're, they're quite muscular, uh, and one of them's a policeman, and they appear to be wrestling. Now, it's obviously very hot, because they don't seem to be wearing much in the way of clothing, although the policeman himself, obviously a very dedicated officer, because he's, he's, he's managed to keep his hat on. Um, now there seems to, oh hello, there seems to be, well one of the chaps that's wrestling is obviously locked, left, he's, he's obviously lost his grip and appears to have got his hands stuck somewhere. So uh, yeah, well you kind of get the drift. It's, um, it's quite iconic in, 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 that, sort of a, in that sort of world. Um, as I say, not something I know a great deal about, but you've got to appreciate it, art for art's sake and all the rest of it. Um, the fragrance itself, because of the, the sort of the, the homage to, to, to Tom of Finland and, and this sort of imagery and com that comes with it, you'd expect the, the scent to be, I don't know, uh, more sort of heavy like uh, Rianne Incense, Intense, or maybe even sort of veering towards Secretions Magnifique or something like that. It's nothing like that. This is a really, really, really top quality fragrance. Um, I absolutely adore this, hence I, I bought it straight away. Um, so what we have, I mean, first, uh, again, this was made by Antoine Lee, who did make secretions and, and lots of others. So, um, you know, really, really sort of great um, pedigree there. So let's, let's just, I'll tell you what, I've been wearing this today, um, and I'm going to spray it again now, because it's, it's an absolute joy to wear. 
what let's have a look at the notes and then we'll we'll, we'll go through how it smells to me and, and how i've got on with it um at the top you have outer hinds and lemon and in the middle you have birch leaves pine saffroline pepper cypress galbanum and geranium and in the base you have vanilla tonka bean iris and vetiver um and this is a really really clever frag it's um the opening is absolutely it just wakes you up it's as fresh as fresh can be the lemon and the aldehyde aldehydes always give kind of to me anyway they like pop and crack and fizzle and they're quite a fizzy you know they give off a fizzy sort of impression so you get a strong synthetic lemon with the aldehyde it's to me it's very akin to um boiled sweets lemon boiled sweets with sherbet in them when they when you crack it you know after you've, you've had them in your mouth for a while and you bite into them and the, the sherbet explodes in your mouth and everything's kind of fizzy and you you get that and it just oh it's, it really wakes you up and it's not at all what i was expecting from from this fragrance i really i mean when i sprayed the sample obviously i hadn't seen the iconic imagery on the box or anything like that so i kind of wasn't lulled into it and the other thing is once that um sort of sparkling note hits it really projects i think there's you know other chemicals in there it's got that kind of um in the air vibe it floats around you siage is excellent projects very very strongly for the first hour then things start to happen the Saffroline, which I had to research. Now, saffroline is uh, an ingredient that gives a warm, it's spicy, leathery tobacco facet with a twinkly effect. And that's where this leathery note comes from because as the, the lemon and the fizzy sherbet vibe kind of dies down, you get taken into this world with iris, with vanilla, with leather, but it's not a leather, it's more of a suede. Um, if I were to compare it in terms of smell to something else, I always tend to use Tuscan leather as my sort of go-to barometer when describing leather frags. But this isn't like Tuscan leather. This is much more similar or much similar to Tom Ford's other uh, sort of well-known, more recent leather, which is ombre leather, because um, that's got that sort of soft, soft suede-like feel. And this is really soft and it's really suede-like. And with the iris, with the tonka bean, with the vanilla, with a hint of vetiver in the background, it it's absolutely lovely. Um, it's really, really good. It's a grown up, good fun, really, really good fun fragrance. It has been described um, as smelling like condoms and leather. So, in the, uh, you know, for the sake of the review, I thought to myself, I know what, I'll get some condoms and I'll get one of my leather belts and what I'll do is I'll open them and sort of sniff them together and compare them to the frames. Then I thought to myself, what could, this could this could go really, really wrong here. I mean, generally I do my videos when the house is empty, but people can come in at any time. So the idea of me sitting in a room with a packet of condoms, with a leather belt, wearing a fragrance, filming myself with gay pornography on the table. <laughs> This could lead to a really, really difficult, difficult, difficult conversation. So um, we're going to forsake props and we'll just use our noses and, and, and talk about it. So no, uh, no risk there. So the vanilla, the tonka bean, the iris and the vetiver on top of this suede feel gives a kind of a soft leather effect, which is really, really nice. It's, it's absolutely lovely. It's just, I don't know. It, there's something in here as well that comes in that does sort of give a kind of a plasticky feel. And I don't really know what's giving that plastic, um, that, pla that plastic note. I don't really know where it's coming from, but it's not unpleasant. It kind of, I think when someone sort of put the idea of having, you know, condoms and leather into my head, I'm trying to find where that's coming from. And maybe the plastic, plastic note is trying to, um, give off some sort of latex imagery or you know latex nasal imagery which I don't know if it does or not to be honest with you but it just smells lovely and it's uh, I really like this I wore, I wore, I've worn this to work I wore it to work today and interestingly when I first got it I wore it around the house and I didn't think it performed that well to be honest um, I thought yeah it's very loud to start off with then it gets quite soft and it's warm and it's lovely but it kind of disappears so wearing it today um, we've, we've had the weather quite hot in London lately um, and today's been a bit cooler so I gave it a go and it just seemed to last me throughout my working day so seven hours I came in 
faintly there. It's not strong, but it's still there. It's still on my skin, um, which is nice. That's fine. I don't normally want to sort of spend money on fragrances that aren't kind of really, really good in the longevity department. And this is probably a little bit weaker than I would normally buy, but it smells so nice. I, I, I had to have it in my collection. And it's one I'm already regretting getting a 50 mil because I think I'm going to plough through this and I'm going to have to replace it um, soon enough because it is lovely and quite unique. Now, if you take all the history and the imagery away from this fragrance, um, because I think because of the artwork and, and, and the backstory and stuff like that, you'd think it leans very masculine. If you strip that away from it and just looked at it as a fragrance, I think it's completely unisex. I personally think anyone could wear it at any age. It's a fun fragrance, so it's not a particularly classy fragrance. It's a good fragrance. It's certainly one that I enjoy. I think it's really, really good for casual wear. You could probably dress it up, especially in the dry down when it becomes soft uh, and warm and, and, and quite alluring. And I think, you know, it, when it when it dries down, you, it could be quite a formal scent. I just think the opening is too fizzy. It's too much fun. It's too in your face for that. I think it's more of a casual um, go to a club, go to a pub. Not that I go to clubs, obviously. Um, fun frag. Um, highly recommended. If you go to a store that um, carries the Eldo range, see I'm using Eldo now to uh, alleviate any uh, pronunciation issues. So if you go to a store that carries the Eldo range and you're going to sample one of the many fragrances that they have, certainly give um, Tom of Finland a go because it's absolutely awesome. The other thing is, I've said in previous videos, and I generally mean it, that I'm not interested in buying vintage versions of fragrances. I like to buy what's available to me now. Apparently the older and the original format of this, which has a, a darker coloured liquid, it's a, a, a lot sort of a more ambery in colour from what I've seen in photos, is a lot more potent. It's a lot stronger and uh, has a better longevity and is a bit louder. A lot of people describe it as nuclear. So I will actually keep my eyes open on eBay to see if I can get um, a vintage bottle of it. Just to see. Um, and I, I think I would probably like this more. I mean, I do really like it, but I'll probably like it a lot more if it was louder. So um, definitely going to try and get um, an older bottle of this. Certainly recommend this. Um, I think it is blind buyable. Um, I don't think, you know, despite everything, despite all the imagery and, you know, the attempt at controversy and stuff like that with the box and all the rest of it, I think it's blind buy safe. I think it's mass appealing. I don't see anything, and I certainly can't smell anything in here that I don't know, I find unpleasant, or I think that most people will find unpleasant. Even if it's not a love, you will still like it, if you know what I mean. For me, it is a love. I, I really adore this, and it's, um, you know, we get through quite a lot of samples at Questioning Sense, which is a great thing for us, you know, really, really is. So thank you once again for all the samples, guys. It's really, really appreciated. Uh, and it's nice for me to turn a sample into a full bottle because it means that I've found something and someone's given me a sample that I really, really enjoy, that I really, really want to own. And Tom of Finland is one. So listen, thank you very much for your time. Um, we always appreciate it. There's quite a lot of videos that are now being filmed that are sitting in the editing and we will get them out um, as soon as we can. So if you like this, please subscribe and we look forward to seeing your next video. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Bye.